Well, turning now to sports and today some athletes from across middle Georgia took part in an early signing day. Our Carlos Stevens spent today traveling central Georgia and tells you who signed to play at the next level. We begin our WGC sports coverage in Perry, home of the 2023 state champs. Perry has two signees, Maurice Hayes Jr. and Dakari Anderson. Hayes committed to Bowling Green State University, while Anderson committed to the University of Cincinnati. Both players say they're excited to play at the next level. Being able to learn for free and play the sport I love and eventually, you know, make it to the draft. That's the goal, main goal. I gotta get to be around a, a group of people that's that's got the same goal as me, you feel me? Like, so we get to, like, when I get there, I'm gonna change the program. We gonna change the program as a team. Next, we head to Peach County where senior Ricardo Jones, who had a number of offers from Division I colleges like Auburn, Michigan, Florida State, and Tennessee, but committed to Clemson University. Jones credits his family for getting him to the next level, but he says there's one huge thing that stood out to him about the Tigers. They don't play by that degree. They make sure you get that degree so after football you can come back, you can be a coach at Clemson. You can do this, this, that Clemson degree hold a lot of weight to it. That's one of the main things right there. We also want to give a big shout out to Cedric Roberts from Peach County as well. He'll be taking his talents to Alcorn State University. Next, we head to Southwest High School to see game changer and wide receiver Carmelo Mays commit to Georgia Southern. Mays was surrounded by family and he says the moment feels unreal to head to the next level. Feels great. I mean, I really want to thank my family for sure. Like, they helped me get here. Thank God, too. I want to come back and help young kids succeed in their career. And next, we want to give a huge shout out to all of the Houston County Bears who signed their letters of intent to move on to the next level. And our final stop was in Milledgeville, where C and Michael Welch signed on the dotted line to play at Colorado under the leadership of primetime Deion Sanders. And Welch says he's looking forward to playing during primetime. I'm looking forward to uh, hanging with the team, my teammates, uh, learning new things, being able to learn from Coach Prime and the coaching staff, and being able to play on the TV, play, <laughs> go crazy. So. Reporting in Middle Georgia, I'm Carlos Stevens, WGXA Sports.